Welcome, Welcome in guys, I hope you're all doing well. This is Badgy79 with the new Fly The Nest series made specially for YouTube. We will be looking at different clubs and taking four players under the age of 20 and seeing if their potential can be achieved without manipulating any of the background information. Will they be heroes at their clubs? Will they leave and go on to better things or will they just stagnate and never reach that potential? You'll find out here in Fly the Nest. Okay guys, so now you find me at my old stomping ground, my hometown, Reading Football Club. Much love to the Royals. Obviously, there is only one player that's worth looking at from the uh, Reading at the moment in terms of youngsters um, who are coming through, and that is Michael Elise. Reading have got a lot of good youngsters, don't get me wrong, but the standout one who's making a name for himself currently with a lot of teams floating around is Michael Elise. Currently a three-star rated player, but the potential to get to that five-star. His best position, apparently, is an attacking left winger. In, uh, or left mid as a winger in a support very technical we've got him playing as the attacking centre mid because I genuinely believe that's where he will be the best so we've covered off the current abilities there is no rating on there he hasn't got that number which means I think we could see some big things from Michael Elise decent with both feet what we've done is we've made him or we've signed him to a new contract prior to this so that actually if anyone wants him, they're going to have to proper shell out. But again, decent physicals, a bit weak on the old strength front, but that will come. He's 18. The mentals are all right. They're all right. There's work to be done. But the technicals for an 18 year old are banging. This guy, he's got the bits ready to go. We'll have a little look at the under-23 players we're going to be following. In here, we have got Dijan Tetek. Obviously, we've sent him out on loan. He is a, going to be at Doncaster for the season. Again, decent physicals. Very good determination. His decision-making is good as well. His teamwork and work rate. This guy is a centre midfielder, defensive midfielder, ticks boxes there. Needs to work on the technique and the passing. First touch and dribbling, they're both okay. There is work to do. But he's 17. Two-star current ability. 79 in the box. And up to five stars again. And he will be playing games at Doncaster. Connor Boyce-Clark. Another 17-year-old. Goalkeeper this time. An unusual one to be picking out. But... Two-star rating, up to five-star potential. Another big 8-0 in there. This guy's got everything he needs. He is currently an England youth goalkeeper. A couple of years ago, Manchester United were trying to sign him. He committed himself to Reading, where at the moment his current value is very low. But he is going out to Northampton, and he will be there as their first-choice goalkeeper. Let's see how far Connor Boyce-Clark can take himself. And finally, we're looking at Thierry Neves. Another 79, two-star, up to four-star, five-star, sorry. Again, half-decent physicals for a youngster. Mentals, they're all right, they're not great, but the determination of 14 is quite good. And the technicals, decent finishing. Decent first touch and dribbling. This guy plays out wide. He can play as a centre forward as well. Spending the season on loan at Wimbledon. Again, we've extended his contract here. So that now expires in 2022. Triggered the extension clause. It gives him another season to come back and see what he can do for Reading and see where his potential has got to and whether his current ability has made the jumps we're expecting or hoping for. of season one obviously we've jumped things forward again so we can have a little look but Tetek first of our Reading guys 
We've sent him back out on loan again. This time, he's gone to Burton Albion. But let's see how he got on last season. There's not a drastic improvement in his stats. In Don uh, Doncaster in League One, though, 16 appearances, one goal, one assist, an average rating of 6.71. It's not fantastic, but for a 17, 18-year-old in League One, debut season, it's not bad. It's not bad. But as I say, there's not a drastic improvement in his overall stats. Let's just double check in on his... Um, training side of things we can't track that because obviously we sent him out on loan already so we can't obviously double check his training stats because he's gone so we will review those though at the end of this coming season where hopefully he'll come back there'll be improvements and he will start to become a first team regular Connor Boyce Clark again improvements still looking like a quite a good goalkeeper 18 years old this season going out on loan to Luton Luton Town in League One. Last season, at Northampton in League One. 41 games, 68 points, 7 clean sheets, 2 player of the matches, a 6.79. A really good score for a goalkeeper. On FM in general, to be fair. But a really good score for a goalkeeper who's 18, playing in League One. A very good, very good first season in uh, regular football for Connor Boyce Clark. Here's hoping that will continue. And then we look at Thierry Nevers. This season, going on loan to Wigan. Again, stats have improved. Not drastically, but they've improved. But I would say that Thierry Nevers is going to the place with the best training facilities this time. So fingers crossed that will have an impact. But how did he get on last season? So in his season at AFC Wimbledon, played 31 games, 21 as a starter, 10 sub appearances, five goals, no assists, one player of the match, again, a 6.7. Not great, but for a youngster, it's not bad at all. It's a good starting base. Let's then take ourselves to see how Michael Elise got on. Our first team regular already. So, Michael Elise, improving, always improving. Stats are still looking good for the position. He's unhappy with the tactics that we've got and his morale isn't great. But bearing in mind, we've got him signed to a long-term contract. And at the end of this season, potentially he will be allowed to go. There is interest in loan offers from clubs. But we're just going to change that to make sure that he is unavailable for loan. So no one can get him. And we will see. We will maintain his position from last season. But in terms of his output, for someone who's not happy... 44 appearances, he's starting 44 games. Obviously, we've got that built into that. He does that job. But nine goals and 13 assists with three player of the match awards at a 7.03. Reading also, last season, finished in... Uh, where did they finish? Where did Reading finish? I think they finished in the playoffs. Indeed, they did. Third place. 94 points they pulled in, 113 goals scored, 94 points, third place behind Norwich and Brentford. All in all, a very good season. Let's see how these guys perform in their second full seasons. And let's see if we're seeing big improvements again from these guys on what they're likely to be pulling in next time round. So, guys coming back in from their loan, Connor Boyce Clark. Let's have a little look. Connor Boyce Clark last season spent his time at Luton, where he played 36 games in League One, conceded 40 goals with a 6.8 rating. Not bad. One player in a match, 11 clean sheets, which is pretty good. When you bear in mind, you look where Luton finished last season. It wasn't great. Luton, last season, came 20th in the table. 46 games, they conceded 54 goals overall. Connor Boyce Clark conceded 40 of those in the 36 games. But he kept 11 clean sheets. So there was a couple of games where they obviously got turned over. But overall, 19-year-old goalkeeper, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Stats-wise... Again, minor progression, but he needs to step up now. 
The ability star-wise hasn't gone up drastically. We'll get him training properly. And he will be first choice goalkeeper for Reading in the Premier League. Because they came top of the championship last season. He will be first choice goalkeeper for Reading in the Premier League for this coming season. Dijan Tetek. Another one. Again, his stats haven't gone up. He's still on the two star. But that potential ability is still there. It's not dropped off yet. Last season. Burton Albion. 43 games. Three goals. Two assists. 6.63. So it's dropped off again. Burton Albion did get relegated. To Tetek. Didn't do too bad for a player who's got relegated with the team. Thierry Neves. How did he get on last season? Out on loan at Wigan in League One. 42 games, 10 goals, 10 assists. Two player of matches, a 7.07 .07 rating. Is a fantastic result for a young attacking player. And where did Wigan finish last season? How did Wigan get on? League One. Last season, Wigan finished 12th in the table. So, all in all, that's a really good set of results for Thierry Neves. Obviously, we want to focus now on Michael Elise. He's been that first choice player within that Reading squad for the previous few years. He, last season, in the championship season where Reading won it, 37 games. Seven goals, 15 assists, two player of the matches with a 7.06 rating. So he stepped up over the last season, improved his performance. Goals have dropped off a bit. Assists have gone up. Not as many player of the matches, but it's a performance of the team. But his average rating has improved. Reading went up with a very, very good um, end of season haul, really. And they ended up in the Prem. So next season, Tetek will be playing as a centre midfielder for Reading. That will be fixed. Thierry Nevers will be playing as a left winger. We will change the setup a little bit. Elise will be playing as the attacking centre midfielder still. With Conor Boyce Clark in goal. How will they get on in the Premier League, guys? Will any of these guys really step up? There's only one way to find out. It'll be the next video. Because after this, their three seasons are up. And all of them will fly the nest.